It feels so good to be back in front of the camera. I know it's only been like, what, 10 days, 10, 11, 12 days, um, but it feels like ages. And I, my last video was only like a few days ago, but sitting in this space, in this space, um, it's, it's been a while, it's been a while. Uh, at KCON, me and Joan, uh, cause she had a KCON TV interview. The person that was supposed to interview her wasn't there, so she asked me to do it, I was like, okay, sure. And uh, when we got there, we got there a little bit early, so we had to like wait behind some curtains and if you were there you might have said hi to us we were like picking our heads out in like the curtain uh but behind the curtain there was like a cardboard cutout of like the 101 members and they all actually had pretty much the same makeup but they all i guess they were all suited to their eye sh specific eye shapes i watched their music videos but i didn't really notice any specific i make them usually when i'm watching music videos because of what i do that's what i tend to look for but uh i saw this eye makeup on their cardboard cutout and I thought it was kind of cute so uh that's what we're gonna do today. Sorry about my like haircut I'm like in the middle of changing it so I had to like take the blue out and the blue was cute for a little bit but um, I'm really tired of it I'm gonna I think I'm gonna go a little bit more warm for, for the for the fall for the fall so uh that's what's happening with my hair right now please ignore that um and I'm gonna start off with the eyes I guess so I actually already, already did my eyebrows because I don't feel like I need to talk about them. I just use a little bit of brow pencil and some brow mascara to clean them up a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna use eye primer now. Um, girl, when I went to Sephora, I was buying a lot of like eye primers because especially in the summer, there was just not any eye primers that were doing it for me. Like it would help with the pigmentation, but because my lids are still hooded, um, it wasn't really, none of them really helped with like the long wearability. So I'm using the Smashbox one because um, one of the ladies there suggested it because she also had hooded eyelids. And I also got um, the Too Faced Shadow, what is it, the Too Faced Glitter Glue. So I thought I would try that one out as well, even though I don't use glitter eyeshadow. So I use a really small amount over both of my lids. You really don't need that much eye primer, or like in general when it comes to primer, you don't need that much because I feel like the more you use, in fact, it doesn't, it actually makes it worse, I feel like. So I put a tiny bit and I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. Um, while I'm letting that dry, I'm gonna talk about the shadows I'm gonna use. For this look, you only really need like three shades, maybe four, depending on how dark you wanna make the outer corners or whatever. These are the colors I'm gonna be using. You can't really see it. This one's like a kind of uh, warm peachy shade. Then I've got a kind of medium-ish, darkish uh, brown that has a lot of red in it. And then I've got just a deep brown. And um, I might use a little bit of black in there to deepen up deepen out the outer corners, but generally these are just the colors I'm using. The ones I'm using are from this palette from Kat Von D, the Shade and Light Contour Eye Palette, but of course you can use any eyeshadows that you want. As per usual, you never have to use any of the products that I'm using in these videos. So to start, I'm gonna apply this kind of warm apricot peachy shade, kind of widely. It's actually kind of close to my skin tone. I'm just using that as like a base. And I'm also running a little bit on the lower lash line and just across. And the whole shape of this eye look is very like, very like this. So I'm gonna try to keep a lot of like, uh, cause my crease is actually up here, but do you see where my eye kind of folds right there? I'm gonna try to kind of make that my stopping point. So I'm gonna use that um, brown that has a lot of red in it. And kind of just sweep it across. And on the outer corner, kind of just pulling it outwards. You don't have to worry too much about making like an actual shape with this color because we're gonna use a deeper shade for that purpose. Purpose for that purpose. This is actually a really good look for people um, that have monolids, like their eyelids, uh, because it's very elongating, and I feel like it's very—I don't know—it's very defining for the eye. And I just like the way it looks on monolids, so. Um, if you have monolids, I feel like this is the look you might want to include in your arsenal of looks. So I keep doing this shit. I, this has been like my thing lately. I go through like these phases of weird little shits that, little shits, little things that I do. And currently, this is what it is. Now I'm going to go in with a deep brown shade and I'm actually going to use this brush that I got from Sephora. 
it's what brush is this? The Pro Drawing Shadow. And apparently it was like inspired by calligraphy pens, which I thought was genius for this look. And in general, I, I really like this eye shape. This is what I tend to do with my eye makeup. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm picking up the product on the brush, flying off the excess. And I can just use the shape. It's almost like an eyeliner brush in a way, but for shadow, I can just place the brush on it like this and it easily create that kind of, um, how would you like to, just that sharp, not sharp exactly because that's kind of a different look. It's kind of like, it's a def it's a very defined like point at the outer edge, but it's gonna be like softened because we're gonna blend out the edge, right? Placing it here. Can you see that? Probably not. And as you can see, I'm kind of following this, this shape right here. Again, going along that sort of kind of stopping point that I made for myself earlier. You can see though, when I like relax my lid, a little bit of it disappears under that fold in the skin. So I am gonna take it just a little bit past that using the same brush. And of course, if your eye shape doesn't have this, then you don't have to worry about that. I'm using a kind of pencil brush to blend out the edge rather than a really big fluffy one. Because I still want to keep that shape and I feel like if the brush is too like fat and fluffy, it's going to like over blend it. And using a smaller brush, I'm going to take the same brown shade, that deep brown shade, and I'm going to go in the inner corner. So it's almost like a halo eye right here. Again, following, following this shape that we created right here. So this is like the overall shape that we're trying to create. I want the outside just to be a little bit deeper, just a little bit. So I'm gonna take like a touch of the black ink that's in this palette, take off a lot of it from the brush and just barely deepen up just the outer part of that triangle shape we made. Just like that. I also think that another benefit of this look is that it kind of creates the look that eyeliner would create. So you don't really necessarily need to go in with eyeliner on this part because sometimes, especially with using, if you use a brush similar to that, because it kind of creates the shape for you easily. So, um, you know, you don't have to really struggle with eyeliner. We, I am gonna use eyeliner though, but mo more so like on my waterline. So there is the top part of the eyelid done. Um, for the lower lid, I'm gonna be doing my face afterwards, so I'm gonna put like concealer up to my lash line anyway. So um, I think I'm gonna complete the eye look afterwards. First, I'm gonna use eyeliner first. For this, um, I really want the eye shape to be very like how do you, how would you describe it? Very like uh, like this way, kind of keeping in line with like my natural like inner corner here, going up and then kind of more outward straight rather than down. So first, I'm gonna use liquid liner on the inner corner. Um, rather than just like taking it inwards like this way, what I would, like I would normally do to really like extend my eye shape, I'm really kind of just gonna go downwards like that, and then I'm gonna use a brown pencil liner to line the upper and lower waterline. I'm gonna do this off camera because I can't do it like in in, in this frame. So as you can see, putting that brown eyeliner on the upper and lower really like kind of closes off my eye shape and really helps in creating this, this look. So now all I have to do is my base. Um, I kind of prepped, this, lately I've been um, using Good Jeans by um, Sunday Riley and it's kind of making my chin area really dry just like the Naked Face one did. So um, I kind of prepped my chin area with the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, um, but for my other primer. I guess I'm gonna use just my 3CE one because it's um, not drying like a lot of silicone primers can be. You can see my little friend over here. I used that, um, you know that patch? I know a lot of YouTubers did videos on it that um, where they, they're, a lot of the times they're like, oh, peeling makeup, what? But it's actually supposed to be like a liquid, um, you know those pimple patches? It's like a liquid version of that. It's supposed to protect your skin while um, the blemish underneath is healing. But I haven't seen these videos that people posted, but I get the feeling that a lot of people like, didn't get it or like the purpose of it. But yeah, it's meant to uh, soften, not soften, it's meant to just protect the skin. It's just like a pimple patch, but a liquid version that you can put anywhere. 
Then I'm going to use this foundation. It's more of a matte foundation because a lot of boy idol groups aren't really concerned with, like their makeup artists at least, aren't really concerned with giving them like super really moist, dewy, fresh skin. Oftentimes they'll just have like matte skin. First I spread it with my finger really thinly. This will keep it from, this will keep the sponge from absorbing too much product. It might look like a lot of makeup, but um, it's just because this foundation is so full coverage, which is what you want to look for in a uh, good foundation if your skin isn't looking, isn't very popping like mine. That way you can get away with as little foundation as possible, but you get good coverage. Bleh. This has been happening so often lately where I'm like not even re fucking recording because I have to pause recording every now and then and then I'll forget to hit record anyway. What I did was I luckily I didn't do that much. I was just I just concealed my under eye. Um, it's really important that I do so because I have such a bronzy, smoky, dark brown eye, heavy eye makeup that if I don't really conceal my under eyes, I'm gonna look really tired and very zombie like. So I used a peach color corrector and I used this Elf brush I've been really into. It's their concealer brush. And um, I put some on the back of my hand and um, I loaded the brush up and I kind of started from the bottom of the dark. You can still kind of see my dark circles, but that's just the shape of my eyes. I kind of patted it and blended upwards towards the uh, lower lash line. And from the picture, it seems that they have, fr from him at least, um, I think it was different for each member, but there was, it seemed like there was brown eyeshadow from the outer corner all the way to the inner corner. It might also just be because of the angle of the photo or his, the shadow from his lashes or something. But for my particular eye shape, I'm gonna, con I'm gonna concentrate most of the lower lash line color on the outer corner because if it goes all the way in, I look really tired. So um, that's why I didn't mind taking the conceal all the way up to the lash line. If your eye shape can take it, then you can do it if you want. And then I just use my beauty blender with some powder and I set all over my face, really making sure I set the under eyes because I have a tendency to crease there. I mean, even now you can see there's like these strong lines, but that's just the natural shape of my eye. But anyway, back to the eyes. I'm gonna take a mix of the original shade we used and like that kind of red brown. I'm gonna place that on the outer half here. Kind of stopping before my people. And actually, you know what? I did have a tiny bit of black on this, like at the very point, and it's kind of blending into it, which is perfect because that's what I, well, I wouldn't have gone with the black, but maybe like the deep brown. I would have gone in like really close to the lash line with that, so um, I don't really need to do it anymore because there's a little bit of black on this, but that's what I would do afterwards. So put on this, like put this shadow on and then use the deep brown or the black if you want, and right up to the very, very inner corner, not inner corner, the right up to the very lash line. If you feel like you need to, you can also put a little bit of a lashing of black mascara uh, or dark brown mascara on your lashes if you feel like there's, they're too powdery right now or um, you feel like you need some more definition. But um, that for me, that's pretty much it for the eye makeup. Um, now I'm just going to do the rest of my face. You don't have to do this, but I just I like doing it because um, I've been really into just adding bronzer, I suppose, on the outer corners of my face or the outer parts of my face, especially if the foundation is too light. It helps even everything out. I just like the way it frames the face, I guess. And usually with boy idol makeup, whatever, I will kind of just end here because oftentimes, from what I've noticed these days, it will just be eye makeup for them and on their lips, it's kind of just like nothing, like maybe lip balm. Uh, but from from the picture that I took, it maybe it might just also just be his natural uh, lip color. Uh, but I'm gonna kind I'm gonna add something. This is the Skin Food Avocado and Honey Lip Serum, and it's like it's supposed to be a lip serum, but um, there is a little bit of a color there. It's almost like the color of like a nude lipstick, I suppose. Like, my lips are pretty pigmented already, so you're probably not gonna see it, but maybe you notice there's a difference. That color right there. But really when you blend it out, it just turns into like, like it's that. Right, so that is the finished look. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. There you go. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Fucking focus. Hope you guys like that and found it useful. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Let me just. Aura gave my these to me, so I'm putting them in the shot, just so he knows I'm wearing them. <laughs> Bye. Did I look just dead on the inside just now? Bye.